Hi, today we are in our Ruva Valley again and I'm showing you a little bit of wildflowers and how we protect our nature here. We are looking at some wildflowers. It looks a little bit unkempt, but it should look like this. It's a part where we don't have uh, wines, so you couldn't use it for much else and they decided they add several wildflowers and a nice wall down here and they did it yeah to offer food for several animals and living space and one of those animals is our wall lizard and we can see one coming up here. It's protected. We got quite a few of them here and they like the slate. It's warm and it enjoys sunshine here. As you can see, it's not shy, but I try not to disturb it too much. And it's watching us at the moment, and it disappeared in here. So it's back in his home. Here you are looking at Italian flower, also an important wildflower. And it's important for several bees, wild bees and butterflies. At the back, you can see cornflower. Also a really important plant for wild bees, butterflies. In former times we had some quite often just on open land but now they are protected. It's difficult to find them so we protect them here in this little space. You see, it's really a mixture of different wildflowers because not all wild bees or all butterflies like all wildflowers. So we got food for everybody. We got little ox-eyed daisies here. We got different types of grass, even a last poppy. And it's really important to have it here, because at the end of this little plot, we got what we call a tower of life, meaning it's a huge insect hotel but it also has accommodation for our lizards. So it's important if we offer accommodation for wild bees to also offer a little bit of food. And that's why we got all those lovely wildflowers here. They're really nice to look at. and extremely important just to keep our nature diverse and to keep our wild bees living. Yeah, it's end of spring, beginning of summer 
and later in summer we will see different flowers. So they added a mixture here just to provide enough uh, food for the whole season. And coming into view is our big tower here. And as you can see, it offers accommodation for different species, different animals, different bees. So, no matter what they like, we got it here. We got over 100 of those towers in our Mosul region. It was a project a few years ago and the aim really is to show people how important our insects are and how important wildflowers are. I mean, in former times, people used them as medicine to eat. Here, another pretty one. Wild sage, I would say. And today, a lot of them say, well, it's useless. It's not a pretty flower, so we need to destroy it, which is quite sad. And that's why we need education like this. I mean, if kids learn it from a small age on, they might protect bees and they might start, well, just to try to get them out of the living room instead of killing. Or they might even convince their parents to plant a few useful flowers. And I mean, bee-friendly flowers can be really pretty, as we are seeing here. So. And for the hand, just the last glance at our pretty daisies here. So I hope you liked this short video. We will do more live stream videos and we will be walking through our Mosel Valley and Ruber Valley quite soon with our live streams. So bye for now.